we are here at Climbers Rock and we're gonna try our hand at bouldering. Asha, tell me a little bit about this facility and what you offer here. Yeah, so Climbers Rock is a, an amazing rock climbing gym in Burlington, the only one actually, and we offer both root climbing and bouldering. So as you mentioned, we are gonna try some free climbing today. For people that may not know about rock climbing, tell me the two different types of rock climbing you offer. Yeah, so we offer bouldering, which is free climbing, and that doesn't require any harness or ropes. Um, so really all you need is a chalk bag and some shoes and you climb up and when you want to come back down you're falling and dropping onto our mats here. Whereas root climbing, um, you're actually going to have a harness, you're going to be tied in and you're either going to use our automatic belay system which is an auto belay or have a partner and they're going to pull the rope for you as you're climbing. I'm sure you get a lot of people entering this space that have never done rock climbing before. How do you help them kind of ease into that sport? It's always very shocking that people have never tried rock climbing because we all love it so much, but um, it's very beginner friendly. Uh, usually we direct new climbers to root climbing because it is a lot less upper body uh, and you do have the safety of the rope, so there's no actual falling involved. Um, but a lot of people want to try bouldering because it's a little bit more adventure-y. Um, you are falling, which is really fun for some people. Um, and that, that fact that you don't have a harness on uh, really is like really fun. It's exhilarating, yes, some would say. Exactly. If people want to take it to the next level, they've come here a few times, you can offer lessons maybe for someone who wants to be better at this sport? Yeah, so we actually offer two complimentary um, with any day pass or membership uh, programs for adults. So we have Start Climbing, which runs on Monday nights from 7 to 9. And it's just a come and climb with a group of folks and our amazing coach Tyler. He basically leads us through programs every week and going through different climbing techniques, helping people achieve their climbing goals. And then we also have a women's only club on Friday nights uh, where we primarily focus on bouldering and just kind of introducing more women to bouldering uh, because it is a primarily male dominated sport. So it's good to get everybody involved. And like I said, the spooky aspect of bouldering can be a little, uh, a little hard to get into to start. Not only is this sport for adults as well, but you also offer this to kids. How does that work? Oh, we have a huge youth program. Uh, we have kids starting as young as age four all the way up until age 17. And there's literally a program for every age in between. We also have a dedicated uh, bouldering space that's just for youth, which is upstairs and it's amazing. Um, the bouldering wall is literally half this height so that our little four-year-olds aren't dropping from the very top. Um, but yeah, it's amazing. It's called our academy program. And then the kids who want to take that climbing to the next level are a part of our competitive team, which compete provincially and nationally. Wow, I can imagine how cool it is for kids to just see them improving every week. Yeah, they're mostly better than me now. <laughs> they progress very quickly. So starting young is the key. Yes. But that's okay if you're a beginner just like me today. Exactly. What am I going to be doing? Can you walk me through that? Yes, so we are going to show you how to boulder um, on our main bouldering walls here. Um, and these walls are very overhung so we're going to kind of get you set up with some climbing shoes so that you feel a little bit more confident on the wall. Uh, we're going to show you how to drop tuck and roll um, which is falling off the wall and get you on maybe some mid-level climbs after you do a couple warm-ups. Okay cool let's see how far I can get before falling. Let's get climbing. Well, I've got chalk on my hands and shoes on my feet. Gabe, you're going to be my instructor for today. What are we doing? Well, today we're going to try some bouldering and work our way up to the V grades. Okay. So basically, uh, the higher the V number, the harder it is. Okay. So we at the gym, we start at V minus, then 0, 1, 2, all the way up to 11, and rarely 12. I mentioned earlier I have chalk on my hands and these special shoes. Can you talk us through why chalk and why these shoes? Well, firstly, uh, chalk is really useful to dry your hands because when you're climbing, uh, it's scary, it's intense, you're going to get your hands sweaty and that makes you slip off the wall. So you just want to keep them dry. And then shoes are so that we can stand on really small holds, get a better friction on the wall because runners aren't the ideal choice. What is the uh, way to be better and get better as you go? Well, like any sport, it's just about trying it over and over, uh, committing a lot of days to it. Some people train, um, it's not necessary, just get yourself on the wall and have fun, you know. Have fun, that's the most important part. So I say let's get on the wall and let's see what I can do. You're gonna do falling more than anything in climbing, so it's always important to make sure to land with your legs bent, and then if you're falling from a great height, you wanna roll onto your bum and then back, and most importantly, you wanna keep your arms forward. Um, so what that's gonna look like, 
So if you want to take some practice falls from not too high, and land just like that. So jump off on my feet and then roll back. Exactly. <laughs> Perfect. Was that good? Yep. Okay, nice. Okay, so that was fun. I learned how to fall, which was good. Now, I imagine it's a lot different when I'm really high up. Exactly. So uh, I always recommend people down climb a little bit before they take a jump. It just reduces nerves and uh, less hard on your knees, you know? Okay, now that we've gotten through the safety of how to fall, the climbing. All right, perfect. So every climb will have, start with anywhere from uh, one to four pieces of tape corresponding to the color. Now there's two tapes here, which means two hands go there, and then one tape there, one tape there, which means you have to start it like this. And now, all the climbs are color coordinated, so you'll only use red to get your way up the climb. Okay, all so right? don't avoid all the colorful other ones, just the red. Exactly. Okay, that's very helpful, because I think anytime I've started rock climbing, I'll just like kind of look for whatever rock I can find. Freestyle it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then do you have any tips for me as I'm going up this wall? Like, what is the best way to climb a wall? Well, the number one thing that I tell people are keep your arms straight, mm -hmm. because if you're going up pretty high, you're gonna get pumped. Uh, and a good analogy is if you're gonna carry grocery bags, you don't wanna carry them like this, you wanna carry them with a straight arm. Cool, I love that. Let's take a shot at the V0. <laughs> this is a V0, eh? <laughs> strong at all. <laughs> Come on, Tina, let's go. What am I supposed to do with these ones all the way over here? Is that what I'm doing? Is that crazy? Maybe when you get a bit higher That's up. That's crazy, yeah, okay. My foot is on a different color, but I don't even care right now. Because <laughs> this is way ter more terrifying. Like I'm probably like, what, three feet off the ground? I think I need to come down. I think I need to come down. <laughs> the mat is nice and soft. Oh! Ow! It's already just a workout to just try to go up a few. That was fun. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> Good job. Thanks. <laughs> that wall was hard. Zero difficulty was clearly too difficult for me, and now I have to go to a V minus, so that's less than a zero. Look at my hands, they're on fire. <laughs> if I can make this, I'll be a happy woman. I can leave here happy. Nice. Nice. Yep, keep it smooth, come on. Oh. Almost there, come on. Nice. All right, now, uh, for the last tape, you need to have two hands on it to officially complete the climb. Oh, two hands to finish the climb, okay. You're almost there, come on. Ready? Nice. Yeah! I did it! Now I just have to get down, okay? Now that I've completed a route, I'm thinking it was all mental, so I'm gonna give the V0 one more shot. Hand up, one. Ah! Ah! 
Although I didn't complete the V0, I know that you can. If you want to try your hand at bouldering or route climbing, go to climbersrock.com.